I just watched a very interesting video. Okay, so you can look it up on YouTube. Gene Simmons from KISS threatened Howard Stern um, because he was making jokes of Eric Carr, who was the uh, drummer in KISS. He wasn't the original drummer. Peter Chris uh, was the original drummer of KISS, but Eric Carr actually was with KISS longer than uh, Peter Chris. Now, I don't know if you're a KISS fan or if you know much about the band. Uh, Eric Carr died of cancer. So apparently what happened was Eric Carr was a, a very big fan of Howard Stern. And when he died, one of Eric Carr's friends called up Howard Stern and, you know, said, look, oh, Eric Carr lo loved you and blah, blah, blah. If you could talk about him, it would mean a lot. So I don't know. It wasn't revealed, but apparently Howard Stern, I guess, made some kind of tasteless jokes about Eric Carr. And it pissed Gene Simmons off big time. So, like, Gene Simmons, like, said he wanted to trash him publicly. He was, Gene Simmons was, like, ready to mop the floor with him. And, and rightfully so, because it goes back to the point that I always try to make. There are certain things in this world that are sacred. I'm all for breaking balls. I'm all for jokes. I'm all for, you know, listen, I'm a comedian. I love breaking balls. You know what I mean? And... When jokes are directed at me, I laugh my ass off. I think they're funny. You know what I mean? But when, see, I have a wife that has stage four breast cancer. So my heart goes out to Eric Carr and his family. You know, first of all, I'm a big fan of Eric Carr. I think he's one of the most underrated drummers in rock history. The guy was so talented. He 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 brought a magic to Kiss. He really did. And um, I think Gene Simmons took the right approach. By, te by telling Howard Stern, don't joke with my drama. You know what? This He was a very underrated, very talented drama. He brought magic to Kiss. He brought happiness to millions and millions of fans. He passed away from cancer. But then as time went, went on, Howard Stern, you know, did show Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley that he did have a heart. And obviously, whatever joke he made, either... He apologized or he made Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons understand, you know, this was off the record. They spoke privately that he's obviously has deep respect for Eric Carr. But it just goes to show you there's a certain line that none of us should cross. And this goes for, you know, people, just regular people like me, regular guys from Brooklyn, right? And superstars like Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, you know, Eric Carr. And even the great Howard Stern isn't above that. You know, you should always have respect for people with cancer and especially people who passed away from cancer and especially, you know, I don't know what else to say except it's just tasteless. You know what I mean? No one should joke around with anyone, you know, going through cancer, battling cancer or passed away from cancer. It should be off off limits. And um, I just wanted to share that with the uh, AMC and the uh, GameStop community. Check that. Check out that uh, YouTube video. Uh, Gene Simmons threatens Howard Stern over Eric Carr.